happily barley summer. Three months, nothing to do but work on my tan. <laughs> three months? Mine doesn't look good in three weeks. How come? We're going up to see you at the end of the month. Oh, I got a letter from my cousin Brenda yesterday. Well, so you spent a weekend up there every summer. You never used to worry about your tan before? Well, Brenda was never throwing a party before. At least not like this one. We hold these checks. Okay, wait. Here it is. Oh, this is Brenda. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, runs in the family. Well, right. <laughs> anyway, this year her parents are letting her have a really big party. And listen to this. Uh, oh, every cool guy this side of 10th grade is going to be there. Oh, lucky. Well, we can Ritzy see you. You know, you're pulling me from which guy I'm fall madly in love. <laughs> I doubt that. She says the rich kids are a bunch of snobs. They'd probably freak out if they found out my dad lost his job. Well, why? It's not his fault the school ran out of money. And besides, you said he'll be teaching again in the fall. I know, but just try telling that to the junior jet set. Boy, they sound like a real bunch of creeps. Yeah. I'm so glad Brenda's friends aren't like that. I mean, if there's one thing I really can't stand, it's a snob. sneakers before we go. Wait, Fran, did you hear the news? We were just going to tell her. Tell me what? Well, your father's just been offered the grand and glorious position of pool director at the Al Condor Club up in Peaksville. Peaksville? We're moving to Peaksville? It's just for a month. Dad's taking me with him to work as locker boy. What about me and Mom? How does spending the entire month at Seaview sound to you? You're kidding. A whole month at Brenda's? Well, we wouldn't exactly be staying with, uh, with Aunt Jessie and Uncle Phil. We would be staying out at the Fairchilds. The Fairchilds? We don't even know them. Why are we staying with them? Well, because, honey, their cook is going to take a month's vacation, and Aunt Jessie has arranged for me to take her place. You're going to be a cook? What's wrong with being a cook? It's just a job like any other. No, it's not. Fran, uh, your mother has a gift when it comes to cooking. People admire that, and they're willing to pay for it. Look, you know how rough things have been around here lately. This job could really help us out. But, Dad, a cook? And especially for the Fairchilds. I mean, Brenda says their daughter is the snobbiest girl in her class. Look, don't you think you ought to get to know her first, before you begin to judge her? You'll probably like her. Like her? I'll probably never even meet her. After all, don't servants have to use the back stairs? It's gonna be weird, you being gone a whole month. Yeah, I know. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure don't think so. Two days ago, you couldn't wait to go to your cousin. Now you act like you're being sent to Siberia. I'm just gonna miss being here, that's all. Miss smoggy Los Angeles? If you ask me, you're lucky to be going with your cousin. Yeah, you're right. What do you say we ride the carousel one last time before I leave? Again? I'll never understand what's with you and Carousel. I mean, the horses are pretty and all. They're more than just pretty, Sarah. They're kind of like magic. Nothing bad could ever happen to you if you had one of those. Yeah, I guess. Come on. Okay. Hey, what's your address? Whose address? Your cousin's. We can write to each other. Oh, um, 62 Walnut Street, Stevie, California. Now, come on, we're going to miss the next ride. <laughs>
Sometimes you take the bags outside. I want to talk to Fran for a minute. Okay. So well, Steve, I'll yeah. take this on with me. Yeah, I'll get a couple of those. You know, friend, your mother's a very gutsy woman to take this on. It means a lot to her to have it work out. I know. Now, all I'm asking from you is that, well, you give her a little moral support. Huh? Now, everybody works for somebody, Pumpkin. And whether you're a cook or a law professor or an acrobat, you're still you. May I have your attention, please? Now loading inside Don't the worry, Dad. Line, door one, the double That's doors for Ashton, Darstead, Seaview, Harris, and Deason. Behind door one, the double doors. All aboard. All right. There you go. Right. Thank you very much. Well, Sweetheart. Oh. Um, okay. Give me a call. Give me a call. Give me a call. If you want to come with us, we can all meet in town and go together. That would be great. What time? Ten. And you can help me plan my party. Oh, your party. I almost forgot about Don't it. Don't you forget. It's the last Friday of the month, and we're all going to have a blast. <laughs> Where'd you get this? Oh, my birthday. You like it? Gorgeous. What are you doing? I'm letting you borrow it. But just for as long as I'm here. Oh, Fran. It's outrageous. Oh. <laughs> Wait until the other girls see this. Thank you. You're welcome. What would I do without you? Well, what are cousins for? No, oh, girl. Brenda, friend. Come on, girls, we're ready to go. All aboard. <laughs> you need help? So thankful you decided to take the job. We hope you'll be very happy here. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. Let me get your bags. Oh, um, my daughter's been dying to meet you. Andrea! There you are. Come and meet the Davies. Andrea, now you remember Mrs. Dunlap's daughter, um... Brenda. Yeah, we've met. And this is her cousin, Fran. The girl I told you would be staying with us. Hi. Hi. Mrs. Davies, this is my daughter. Well, I'm so glad to meet you, Andrea. I know you'll want to unpack, so I'll just take your bags right to your room. Darling, why don't you take Fran on tour of the house while we show Mrs. Davies where to unpack? Okay. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't forget about the beach tomorrow. I won't. Okay. Jesse, I don't know how to thank you. Give me a call when you get settled. Okay. Well, bye-bye, Brenda. parents' bedroom. And this is one of the guest bedrooms. We only use this for company. And that's the attic. And that's the study. You can put your stuff down here if you want. What do you think? Oh, you 
must have every mystery ever written. Do you like mysteries? Are you kidding? I go crazy waiting for the newest ones to come out in paperback. Oh, who can wait? I always buy the hardcovers as soon as they're out. Really? Yeah, I'm halfway through one right now if you want to borrow it when I'm done. No, thanks. I brought a few books of my own to read. Oh. Okay. I better help my mom. you get this? My stepfather bought it for me when he and my mother got married. Your stepfather? Yeah. He's always buying me stuff. I should be so lucky. It's no big deal. Mom, are you supposed to be their handyman, too? I just don't have time to wait for the plumber. The Fairchilds are giving a big dinner party tonight, and I need all the time to get everything prepared. Ah. Aha. See? That didn't take them long. So, where are you off to? I'm going to the beach. I'm going to meet Brenda and her friends in town at 10. Is it okay if I have a glass of juice before I go? Well, of course it is, Fran. You're supposed to make yourself at home here. You don't have to ask permission for everything, you understand? Yeah. And I wish that you would just try to adjust to everything a little bit better, instead of walking around here with a chip-on-your-shoulder attitude. Me? What about Andrea? Mom, you should have seen the way she was talking about all her precious books yesterday. Well, you know, she's probably nervous. After all, you two just met each other. Yeah, right. You know, give yourself a little time. You might find you've got a lot in common. Get along really well. Have a nice summer. I better go. I'm going to miss the bus. I'll see you later. Fran! Fran! Oh, hi, you guys. Hi. You remember Eva Marie? Sure. Hi, hi little Franny. You poor thing. Brenda told me all about how your mother has to slave for the Fairchild. Brenda? I never said she was slaving. I only said she was doing the cooking. Whatever. Anyway, a whole month of Andrea Fairchild? Oh, it's a gag. I'll survive. Of course you will. As long as you have us to hang around with, who cares about Andrea, right? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> They're waiting for us. Told her blue is her color. <laughs> Hi, Fran. Hi, Lisa. Aren't these the eyeshadows wild? Oh. Yeah, they're pretty wild. Here, try this one, Fran. Violently violet. Mm. Hey, is it true Andrew Fairchild has a mink bedspread? <laughs> <laughs> well, if she has, I haven't seen it. Well, nobody's seen much of anything about Andrea. You know, she's never once come to any of our parties. Well, she's probably too busy hanging out at the country club to bother with us. And that's because the country club's the only place big enough to hold her swelled head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's what I call purple. Actually, it's the newest shade of violet. I mean, we like to keep up with the latest looks. Don't you? Yeah. My mom's got tons of stuff at home if I want it. I just came in to get some place cards for the dinner party tonight. The car's here. Do you want to ride home? Thanks, but uh, we're all going to the beach. Oh. Well, I'll see you later then. My mom's got drawers of that stuff if I want it. Boy, talk about stuck up. I'll say, what gives her the right to laugh at your maker? Well, forget about it. Come on, let's go to the beach. Okay, but I can't stay too long. Why? The Queen of England's coming to tea, and I promised Mummy I'd be home in time for her. <laughs> Please. <laughs>
at my cigar burn, uh, you? No, it's nothing, really. Oh, well, no, of course, it's something. Really, no, it's nothing. It's very clumsy of me. No, Let's I'm get okay. you inside really, where I'm a little fine. more light. I can see it. Carol, I'm very much afraid I've accidentally singed this young lady's arm. Really, Mr. Fairchild, I'm okay. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe you'd better have your mother put some mice on it anyway. Yes, ma'am, I will. Well. Oh. oh, sorry. Oh, don't worry about that, Fred. Oh, no, the maid will clean it up. Fran, what happened? She just spilled a little coffee, that's all. Oh, Mrs. Fairchild, I'm so sorry. Oh. No, I'll see to it. Please go back to the room, Fran. I'll take care of it. Mom, go on, do as I say. Sarah, I guess you could say things aren't as terrific as I made them out to be. The truth is, we're not even staying at Brenda's. My mom... I thought you might be hungry. I'm sorry if I sounded harsh in the dining room. Don't worry about me. But I do, Fran. I know you think I've somehow lowered myself to take this job. Fran, sometimes wearing a uniform is part of the job. Like it is for a nurse or a policewoman. Underneath it, I'm still the same me. trying to figure out what to wear to Brenda's party. Well, I still think we ought to go with the preppy look. These size, no way. Put me in pleated pants and I look pudgy, not preppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then let's go feminine. You know, with the long skirts and ruffled blouses. Yeah. yeah. And the necklace you let me borrow will go perfect with my new peasant blouse. Sure, yeah. There's one problem. What? The only thing I brought to wear was a skirt and blouse. Oh. Oh, well, I've got an idea. Why don't you borrow something from Miss Best Dressed Andrea Fairchild? I mean, don't rich people usually give their old clothes to servants anyway? I'm not Andrea Fairchild's servant. She didn't really mean you, Fran. She only meant your mother. Brenda, my mother works for the Fairchilds as an employee, not a servant. Oh, okay, an employee. What's the big deal? I mean, it's the same difference anyway, right? No, it's not. And if you think it is, you're a lot dumber than I ever thought you were. Oh, yeah? Well, if you think I'm so dumb, maybe you shouldn't come to my dumb old party and surround yourself with all my dumb old friends. In fact, maybe you'd be happier hanging around old stuck-up Andrea. Well, maybe I would. Suit yourself. time you gave Brenda a call. What could you two have to fight about that could be so terrible? Nothing. Then I suggest that you go ahead and apologize. Brenda's party's coming up. You don't want to miss that, do you? No. But she's the one who owes the apology, not me. I see. Well, I just wish you could find something constructive to do instead of getting underfoot in the kitchen. Like what? Mom, I'm sick of doing things by myself. Well, maybe Andrea would like to do something. Oh, yeah, sure. She's probably dying to go slumming with the cook's daughter. 
Excuse me, Mrs. Davies. I don't mean to interrupt, but I was on my way to the club, and I was wondering if you could fasten this for me. Yes, I think I can manage. Thanks. Fran, we're allowed to bring guests to the club if you'd like to come. Oh, well, well thanks, but I don't think so. Oh, I think that's a wonderful idea. But, Mom... It'll be good for you to get out of the kitchen. Grab a snack later at the pub house. That won't be as good as your mom's food. You're lucky. That's great. Yeah, I guess. You know, I used to be scared to death to come here. Everything and everybody is so la di da. Yeah. I finally figured out a way to get over it, though. How? All you have to do. Is picture everybody nude. Nude? <laughs> Forget it. These people could carry it off. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. No one's got the diving too much about diving. Usually I go to the beach. You're kidding. You don't know how to dive? There aren't too many diving boards in the ocean. Oh, I could teach you. Anybody can learn. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll just catch some sun. I was wondering when you two would get back. Did you have a good time? It was okay. I have a little surprise for dinner tonight. Surprise! Dad! Uh, hey, how are you doing, Chelsea? Well, did you miss me? Oh, Dad, I even missed Steve. Oh, oh, great. Oh, Andrea, I'm sorry. This is Fran's dad and her brother Steve. Hi. Hi, Andrea. Hi. So how long can you guys stay? Till tomorrow. Mm. And tonight, after your mother gets through serving up her gourmet meal, the Davies are going out for pizza. Oh, sorry. great, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Mom, they're not making you grind out a seven-course dinner, are they? They're not making me do anything. Okay, so when can we leave? The sooner a little helper sets the table, the sooner we can all get out of here. <laughs> okay, I can take it. You. you know, stoves have never really turned me on. Very funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dad, Dad. <laughs> oh, Andrea. Say, why don't you join us this afternoon? There's plenty of food to go around. I'd like that. Andrea, you promised your mother that you'd practice your tennis. Now, you don't want her to look bad at the mother-daughter tournament, do you? No, sir. Of course not. Thanks anyway, Mr. Davis, but I can Davies. Hi, Andrea. Is Fran around? I thought she might like something new to read. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Andrea. She's been feeling kind of low since her father and her brother left. And she got up this morning and she went to the beach, but she'll be back soon. She forgot our lunch. Oh, I could take it to her. It wouldn't be any trouble. Well, Fran would really appreciate that. I think she's out by the point. I'll find her. Run. Go 
got your lunch. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Those are nice shells. Yeah, my dad and I found them. He seems like a pretty neat guy. He is. I guess you miss him, huh? I used to miss my father a lot, too. I got used to it after a while. Well, see you later. Wait a minute. You want part of my sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> It's mostly stuff I can't pronounce. She says there's going to be a lot of people there. There are. I just wish I knew some kids my age well enough to invite. What about your country club friends? What country club friends? Did you see any the other day? Well, no, but I thought... I mean, Brenda said that you... There's lots of kids in Seaview. How come you're not friends with any of them? My mother and my stepfather don't allow me to go places where they don't know the people. But the trouble is, they're never around to meet anybody, so... I usually just stay home or go to the club. But there aren't a lot of kids that hang out there. Oh. Hey, are you going to help serve at the party Saturday? What? Are you going to be serving at my parents' party? Of course I'm not. Are you sure? I'm Look, Andrea, this may come as a shock to you, but just because you're rich doesn't mean everybody else is your servant. What? You know, you really think you're great just because you've got a lot of books and clothes and even a carousel horse. But there's one thing around here you don't own. Me. Andrew, you seem to be very buddy-buddy these days. Is that what you came here to say? No. I came here to apologize. This whole thing has gotten way out of hand. I'm sorry that I called your mother a servant, Fran. I didn't really mean it. And I didn't really mean you were dumb, either. You know I just said that because I was mad. Well, uh... What do you say we forget the whole thing? Yes. <laughs> then you can come to my party? Brenda, I can't wait for Friday night. Friday? Oh, that's right, you don't know. My father's trip was postponed, so the party's Saturday now. Oh, you're kidding. What's the matter? I told Andrea I'd go to her parents' party on Saturday. 
Oh, so you'll tell her you changed your mind? I can't do that, Brenda. She's really counting on me. Well, what's more important, your own cousin or some stuck-up snob? Come on, you know you're more important. It's just that I gave her my word. Then take it back. Or have you been hanging around that snob so long you've turned into one yourself? Now, wait a minute, Brenda. Look, you don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. You'd rather play up to a lot of rich people instead of coming to my crummy little party. That's not true. Then prove it. Well, then I guess you're gonna have to choose. Andrea or me? Fran, you all right? You didn't say three words at dinner. Didn't Brenda come over and make up with you this afternoon? What happened? She switched her party to Saturday night. So? So, I already promised Andrea I'd go to her parents' party on Saturday. Uh -huh. We're supposed to be serving hors d'oeuvres together. Uh -huh. I don't know, Mom. I'd feel bad if I didn't stay here with Andrea. But Brenda is my cousin, and everybody else is going to be at her house. Well, it's your decision. But if it's any help to you, why don't you forget what everybody else is doing? and concentrate on doing what is right for you. Okay? You know your parents' party on Saturday? Changed your mind. You're not coming. No, I really want to come. I mean, I told you I would, didn't I? Well, yeah, I just thought something might have happened. As a matter of fact, it did. It's the only thing I brought to wear to a party. I don't think this stain is going to come out. Well, wait a minute. You and I are practically the same size. You can borrow something from me. Oh, Andrea, I, I don't know. I think this would go beautifully with your eyes. Andrea, just look at what Richard surprised me with. Isn't it absolutely <sighs> stunning? It's gorgeous. I told her she'll be the belle of the ball. Mm. <laughs> well, Andrea, what do you think? It's very nice. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Andrea. I, I just never thought to buy you anything. Tell you what, you do us proud tonight, and I'll raise your allowance. How's that? Thanks. Well, we'll see you girls at the party. Okay. Oh, it's really pretty. I couldn't borrow it. Of course you can. It's just another bribe for my stepfather.
favorite then things. I don't like to mix them with the now stuff downstairs. What do you mean, then and now? All these things used to be mine before my mother and father were divorced. Now Daddy's living in New York and married again. I don't see him much anymore. You're lucky, Fran. I'm lucky? We have a real family. I mean, my dad was never rich or anything like my stepfather. But I always knew he loved me. Your stepfather didn't really mean to yell at you. I heard him say so to your mom. My stepfather never really means anything towards me. He thinks that buying me all that expensive stuff in my room will make up for the fact that deep down he doesn't really care about me. listening to other people's stupid gossip. You're not the one who's been a snob around here for the past four weeks. I am. I'm just sorry it took me so long to realize. bring you your necklace before you left. Thank you for letting me borrow it. Sure. So, how was your party? Oh, it was great. It would have been better if you'd been there. Well, there's always next year. Yeah? Wait to see who I'm inviting to that one. Brenda, I know someone who'd like to come. Who? Andrea. She never came to your parties before because her parents wouldn't let her. Come on. Brenda, they're really strict. I mean, they never let her go anywhere. Really? I never knew that. Fran! Hi, Andrea. No. I gotta get going anyway. I told uh, Marcia and Lisa that I'd meet them at the movies. Would you like to come with us? <laughs> That'd be great. But I have a dentist appointment. Oh, well, um, maybe some other time. I'll give you a call, okay? Okay. Well, cousin. See you next summer, okay? Just try stopping me. Bye-bye. I have a little going away present for you. You didn't have to do that. I know. Come on, in <laughs> my room. Beautiful. There's something else I'd much rather have. Well, sure. What? I'd much rather have you come and visit me in Los Angeles. We'd have the greatest time, and I know you'd love Sarah. 
Sarah? She's my best friend back home. I can't wait to tell her about you. Maybe if my mom talks to your mom, she'll let you come down. Oh, friend, that would be great. That must be my dad. So I'll see you in L.A.? Just try stopping me. from Mrs. Carcells. You know that lady who ate half the food at the party? <laughs> what did she want? Well, I guess you could say she wanted to put her money where her mouth is. She just offered me cash to start my own catering business. You're kidding! You mean you're gonna be a regular businesswoman? Is catering a party so much different than cooking for the Fairchild? No. After all, a job's a job, right? In fact, I don't care if you're a cook or the first woman president. As long as you stay my mom. Don't worry. That's a position that's filled for life. This film is based on the novel The Carousel Horse by Sheila Hayes.